And in a sigh of relief for the Black Lives Matter supporters, Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio has been sentenced to five months in prison. This after he allegedly burned down a Black Lives Matter banner. As part of protest to back President Donald Trump, he was charged with destruction of property because of the picture he posted online of him holding the banner and a lighter in his hand. Taro has been charged with possessing two high-capacity firearm magazines which are illegal in Washington apart from being sentenced to jail. He has been fined $1,347 in restitution to the church. Now remember, Taro has been a key member of the U.S. extreme right movement, the same movement which played a major role in the January 6th Capitol riots. He drummed up support for the uprising late last year. Hundreds, including militia groups like Proud Boys, invaded the halls of the U.S. legislature, according to the U.S. Justice Department. He was arrested two days before that event for tearing down the banner in December. He was ordered to stay out of his city, out of the city, until his court hearing. In July, he pleaded guilty to the charges in a plea deal. Meanwhile, even with the crackdown and intensifying scrutiny, members of extremist groups have begun regrouping online and joining rallies. A right-wing protest culminated into a gunfight between Proud Boys, an anti-fascist group. Now, the rival demonstrations remained peaceful initially before becoming violent. Portland Police Bureau has confirmed that a man had been arrested over the shooting. There is no information yet on the number of people injured in the gunfight. The incident came after a day of protests descended into running clashes involving hundreds of protesters and counter-protesters. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.